Well, good evening and welcome to KwaZulu-Natal. We find ourselves in the capital of the province on what is turning out to be a rather wet evening once again at the Harry Gwala Stadium in Peter Maritzburg. We find ourselves celebrating 2020-2021 DSTV Premiership action as match day six continues in the DSTV Premiership. It's Harry Gwala Stadium where Maritzburg United host Mamelodi Sundowns. Oh, Tim Bazwane through the legs of Dalen Glass, and he won't appreciate that. Ball slid out to the near side by Sundowns, who are looking to gain some momentum here. There's some good touches, great chance, and Mwange with a save. That is the near post. It was great recovery from the goalkeeper. Wonderful footwork from the uh, new Zambian number one to deny Tim Bazwane the early goal. I can tell you one thing about Judas Musiamedi. He carries a little extra weight, but uh, any... Well, he has a great chance. Tim Bazwane just possesses. Squares it and should have been, but deflected wide. In the end, great recovery from the Maritzburg United defence, but a genuine offer on a gilt-edged platter. And suddenly, Mamelodi Sundowns with their tails up. Shalulile looks to scramble it. Shot taken, it's absolutely thrashed towards Mwange, who somehow manages to stun it popped up and somehow hold on to that and in the wet conditions to do this I think there's an element of fortune in it but well positioned and strong wrists you could see is not here tonight Mahal was not here police is not here Puma is not here as Bunyama goes on the run for Maritzburg United again a ball into a danger area Musiameni looked to lay it back Kutumela with a shot for Onyango a quick scramble and gets his body behind the ball to deny Maritzburg United the opener. What lovely build-up play, though, from Maritzburg United. Shalulile, the control off the chest here, but can he fire towards goal? Swept into a danger area, Sundowns, and there it is! It's already half a dozen goals for Mamelodi Sundown star man, Temba Swane. He's got the opener just beyond the half-hour mark. Mwange finally beaten. And Maritzburg United, who've had their fair share of opportunities, fail to convert any of them on the opposite side. Sundowns, who too have had their chances, have seen the ball buried by a man who can do no wrong this campaign, Tem Bazwane. Sixth goal of the DSTV Premiership in just six games. Look at Erasmus. Archie is looking to uh, shadow Zwane where he can. Picks up the loose ball here from Kekana this time. Kutumela breaking. Great chance for Kutumela here. Steps inside, creates space and gets a shot in, but just oh. fails to curl in. Not far away from a spectacular equaliser for Maritzburg United. There's oh. oh. Flicks it out to the far side. Oh, brilliant ball in by Erasmus and the follow-up by Shalulile, who we've just been praising. He steered the ball over an empty net. Well, he knows just how dire a miss that is. It's devastating for Shalulile. Take nothing away from his ability, but this was certainly not expected from a man who's been doing brilliantly in his new role at Sundowns. Kekana looks about from range again, he's not too far away. Wang is scrambling. It always looked like it was going high from the time it left the boot of uh, Kekana. Now the problem here is Mwange, after doing this, maybe he's uh, looked like his knee had gone at a, a bit of an angle there. It looked like the, the left knee just tucked in a bit. So and the medical team is saying Mwange is done. Another opportunity for Maritzburg. Yeah. Hit a hit, and it's tucked in. The equaliser has come. Maritzburg United have had their chances, and they've taken one here through the aerial brilliance of Gunyama. And Maritzburg United back on level terms, and maybe, just maybe, they will believe that they can claim their first point of the campaign. Gunyama with his first of the season, the 27-year-old tucks it away. That aerial threat of Musiameri and Gunyama has paid dividends. Mentioned the fact that Sundowns have effectively got a first team missing right now. It's the depth of their squad. As Kikana goes from range, a different bar is tested from a long way out by the grand goal scorer that is Tombo Kikana. Oh, that's nearly 40 metres out, and he's thrashed it towards the substitute keeper. Given an opportunity of starts for this Maritzburg United side. 
does need to overcome, I would imagine, a little ring rustiness. And Buchanan looking for that yellow. Yeah. It's almost like he's actively trying. <laughs> this time the uh, collision with Zwane has been so heavily marked. Oh, now. Victor Gomes has come charging down to the bench and he's uh, whipped out a red card. And now we've seen Mangoniti being dismissed. Could be on for something here. Kutumela running into space. He's onside. Keepers come out. Nonyango just brilliantly denies Kutumela. Oh, the experience of the international goalkeeper closing down the options because he knew he had no defenders anywhere in support. Maritzburg United, after this one-all draw, mean that they are on the points board. They've got one point, although remain bottom of the log. Yeah, I think uh, a bit of uh, too much respect in the beginning. Uh, we came into the second part of the first half a bit better. Second half, I think, uh, good, more, more brave. Um, after they missed a, a, a top chance uh, on the second post, uh, but uh, good, that is part of the game. Um, I think in, in, in total, uh, the game against Supersport uh, was good. Uh, we continued finally uh, to find our way out. Uh, in the moment, everybody is uh, prepared to contribute. Uh, if it is an analyst, uh, Paul uh, really gave a good input during the halftime, seeing it from the top, uh, uh, seeing, knowing that some players, of course, like Kwanda, he didn't play for a long time. Uh, I know probably 70, 75 minutes, and we have to look into him uh, how far is possible. But uh, everybody is prepared uh, so far, and I'm quite sure in the end of the season uh, we will make it to come out of uh, this miserable position, I'm sure. And, and just go back to the goal that you conceded. It came at a time where you seemed to be getting on top of the game. Yeah. Just talk to the frustration of that. Yeah, it's, it's, of course, it is uh, a little bit of uh, taking it too casual, too easy. It was possible to... Uh, track this player earlier to go a little bit more aggressive into this one against one, block the cross. But these are all stuff uh, where, uh, yeah, you, you have to come uh, better into this game in, in terms of defending, in terms of the principles when you, when you have a point, when you have three points, when you have a better position. In the moment, it is definitely sometimes uh, a little bit of uncertainty uh, where we are carrying around and running around on the field. But uh, as I said, it's, it's a process, uh, it's a start, and uh, it's a long way to go. Good luck for the rest of the Thank season, you. Coach. Okay. Coach Ernst Middendorp with his very first point as a coach of Maritzburg United for this DSTV Premiership campaign. Alongside me now, uh, Coach Steve Compella. Coach, firstly, your assessment of the 90 minutes. Yeah, well, I thought it was, it, was, it was going to be a very difficult match. We know that very well. And it showed we, we did not have the space that we, that we normally create. And one observed, obviously, with the, with the discussion with the rest of the team, the, the lack of freshness that we always have. You, you don't know, maybe could it be the long traveling and whatever, but you never come up with excuses in football. You just have to perform. And compliment must also be given to them for fighting hard. In, in our opinion, uh, it's, not, it's, it's more like a two points dropped because we are highly ambitious and desperate to get on with our business. Uh, the goal we considered as well from set play, the setup, we, 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 we practice set plays almost every time. And it's just, it's just unfortunate and it becomes painful when you have to concede through uh, something that you always work on and preach. Uh, coming to the chances that we created, I thought, I thought we, we had enough chances we created there's, I think, two. Shalulio could have scored two for us today. But again, you're saying you are in Maritz back, new coach, new energy. You could see how they were fighting. Uh, you, you, you'd expect that. And we're saying, listen, we are here, we'll move on, we'll take the point and go. But there's a lot, a lot that we needed to improve on. Coach, before I let you go quickly, if you could just briefly tell us, yes, Sundown's currently top of the standings, but uh, if there's something that, you know, as a coaching staff you feel is still missing from this team, what, what, what would that be? No, we're working hard almost every day. It's not easy to, to build a team and it immediately gets to the emotional glue. 
there has to be some element of cohesion consistently. There has to be an element of consistent actions with the right speed without stress. And also playing in a manner where you're saying, I want to dominate the game, I want to dominate the ball, I want to dominate the pitch, I want to play with big personality and Mamelodi Sundowns. Those are things you work towards with understanding that you have a new intake, you have a lot of players who come in, they need to be blended, they need to be orientated, they need to be in the Sundowns' blood. And it doesn't happen overnight, but gracefully so. We've been, we've been doing that and getting results except the one tonight. All the best for the rest of the season, Thank coach. Thank you very much. Thank you.